pounds on top, and then just get a good firm grip on it. <laughs> yep. So the top number is body composition, or lean versus non-lean tissue. So you're, you're good, you're right in the normal range. Um, bottom number is BMI, which is just height. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Nikki. Hi, I'm Becky. Becky, nice to meet you. Do you want to uh, step on? Not really. Your cute sparkly shoes. How tall are you, Becky? 5'7". Uh, uh, de Oliveira? I'm a senior teller at the Columbian Square branch. Um, I think that if we work together as a team, it will help with the weight loss. I've been trying to lose more weight and I f find it struggling. And I feel like if, if I'm eating lunch with these people on a daily basis, we'll be able to motivate each other. We have a team. We haven't came up with a name yet, so we're slacking in that area. But they're everyone that we work with again. And um, I think we're, we'll be able to feed motivation off of each other and not, not touch that cake and not touch those M&Ms. I'm trying, trying to get a little more in shape. I quit smoking about a year ago, and I... It, which is good, but I really saw the weight pack on more, so now it's time to get that off. And I have a five-year-old, so I got to stay healthy for him. I got to be able to chase him. Oh, and Red Sox tickets. They said there's like 10 groups of what Red Sox tickets or something like that. That's what the winner can win. No, so I'm just ready to go. Tom Burke. I work in the investment center. Um, I thought it was a great team activity, and I could certainly stand to get some more exercise on a regular basis. and. Now that I'm in my early 50s, I think it's a good idea to uh, get myself healthy since I have two young kids at home. I actually started in the last month or so uh, getting back and just you know working up to exercising as much as I used to, which was pretty regularly. You know, with between work and family, and uh, you know, just it's, again, it's just finding time. So I think that's as you know, make time, make it a priority, and oh, I think it's great. You know, having having you know played sports most of my life, and you get used to doing that, and then you get older and busy, and you don't do those things. Competition's always good. I think. Just good luck to everybody. You know, uh, hopefully our team, you know, the Social Banks team and our specific team, whatever we're going to be called, uh, prevails in the end. Because being competitive, I, I want to win. My name is Carrie Ann Morris and I'm the Human Resources Administrator for South Shore Bank. I joined the Wellness Challenge particularly because I had a baby two years ago and I haven't really been enthusiastic about getting back into shape and I'm hoping that this will sort of rev up my enthusiasm and I can lose the rest of that baby fat. It's hard to find time to exercise having a two-year-old and working full-time. Usually by the time I get home I'm too tired to do anything but the challenge only requires 150 minutes of exercise a week which is 30 minutes a day and adding 30 minutes a day into my workout routine seems pretty simple. And the bank has decided to give our, the, winning, um, the winning employee with the most number of points a gift certificate to the Boston Running Company so that they can um, get new active wear or new sneakers, something that um, is really a, re a reward for you know having a healthy lifestyle. So my team name is the Bank for Fitness. Um, and we, there are 10 of us um, on the team. We are all located here in Columbian Square. We got our first reminder email that we should really start thinking about gaining all of our points, you know, whether it's a short walk at lunch or um, just keeping a food diary. So we're, we're really excited, we're really motivated and looking forward to winning. I'm Rose McGillicuddy, I'm the Director of HR for Social Savings Bank. Yes, the Banks ha has a program that's in its infancy. We have on-site yoga classes, Zumba and P90X, but we thought this would be a great opportunity to get more of a cross-section of employees involved in being up and moving. Our average age of our workforce right now is about 46 years old, and we have it's actually about 70% women work here. All ages, cross-section, the, the president all the way down to our part-time employees are participating in this. We just want people to just have a general awareness of their health as you age. It's so important that you stay active. I don't think it's any secret that adding a little bit of exercise uh, helps your overall wellness. And it also by having employees that much healthier, it's a much more productive workforce. We, we definitely thought that we were going to have trouble gaining participation for this event. And we had 
50 employees sign up right off the bat. The next thing you know, we were up to 54 employees and begging that we could have those four employees participate, which it was a lot easier than we, than we thought.